Hi everybody, it's Dahlia Liz, and I'm back again with a little mail call video for everybody. Um, this will just be a quick short video, opening some packages, super excited to get these open. Um, and then I will be making a separate video regarding what's in here, so keep a lookout for that too. So one of these I got on eBay and the other I got on Mercari. Um, so I do have another box coming. Um, it just hasn't arrived yet. So that'll just be in a different clip than these. Um, but let's just go ahead and get these open and I can show you what little surprise I have in here. Okay, are you pumped to see what's in here? Because I'm so excited for this buy. Alright, who's it gonna be? So, you might recognize her. She's in the Barbie family. This is Malibu Francie. Um, so definitely a different face than 60s Francie. It's like the 70s sunset Malibu line. Um, and then she did come with some clothes, which is nice. I don't know if they're real or if they're just clone clothes, but um, I'm glad she came with clothes. Um, she's got kind of like a nightie on and some pants, but that's nice. Um, and then her hair is okay. Like she's got most of her plugs here. I don't really see too much messed up. There's a little frizz here, but it's really nice. Like I don't have any inclination to reroute her. I'll just like fix up her hair a little bit and give get rid of those flyaways for her. So Malibu Barbies are tan. That's the big difference. Um, they're just like tan skinned. That's the only difference really. Um, and then her face is obviously different like I talked about. Um, she still has that fancy body. Um, so we'll look at that in a minute. I love her face. It's so cute. Like I normally don't like smiling dolls, but like her smile looks kind of like authentic, right? Like she's got her mouth open and there's teeth. It's not like a closed teeth smile like Barbie always has. She just looks exuberant and youthful, which is how Francie is supposed to be. She's like the younger teenager to Barbie. She's got blue eyes, um, a little bit of brown eyeshadow and brown um, eyebrows. Now, most of the Malibu dolls have blonde hair because uh, they're, you know, got that sunset uh, Malibu, I don't know, California look. Who knows? So, uh, yeah, let's um, just take a look at her clothes here. So this top is um, has this lace on there. It's very cute. Um, a little white trimming, some white tulle. It's definitely like a nightie. And then the pants I like a lot. Um, it's kind of like... I don't know, sailor pants with these pockets and kind of straight big legs. Definitely not made for her because this is too big. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe it'll fit one of my other dolls. And then I'll just show you what her body looks like. So she has the exact same body as 60s Francie. So compared to Barbie, she's much more um, normal human shaped. Um, the chest is smaller. Uh, the hips are smaller. So yeah, she just looks a little different than Barbie. I actually prefer this body because Barbie's body in this age, the 70s, the 60s, uh, you know, they are really exaggerated um and i just think it looks a little silly i don't know so i like francie's body way better and she has this tnt twist and turn waist which is nice um they do have clicky legs you can see her legs are just a tiny bit dirty um so i will clean her up uh yeah but otherwise she's in really good condition you know her face makeup is all there um her hair is nice uh this is a really good deal Let's see if her legs click. Oh, yep. Oh, good clicks. Nice. God, she feels grimy. Whoa, I don't think I should click them that way. Anyway, they really click good. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy with this. You know, you never know when you buy these things secondhand used, um, how they're going to be. And it's really nice when they're nice. Nicer than you thought. Her toes look okay. <laughs> Maybe a few little bite marks. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, oh, so happy with her. Okay, so let's check out what's in the other package. All right, second package, let's get it open. Now, before you see it, I will tell you that this is um, a doll related to the one that I just opened. 
And the third package is going to be related to... Oh my god, her head was so close to the edge, I almost cut her. Oh my god. Okay. So, that was scary. Anyway. <laughs> so, check this out. I'm gonna wrap these ladies. So, I got two in this lot. Okay, they are both more Malibu Barbie dolls. Um, also 70s dolls. So, this is Barbie's face sculpt. And then the other one is... Um, PJ, but this is uh, like a Steffi head mold. Um, I just love this face. It's so cute. And Barbie's cute too, but I really kind of like PJ's more um, exaggerated looks. But yeah, let's get them out of this bag. Why am I leaving them in this bag? Okay. So like I said, this is PJ, this is Barbie. So you can see, just like Francie, they have the TNT twist and turn waist. Um, they also have bendy legs. And um, both of them uh, have uh, some dirt on their legs. So I'm definitely gonna clean those. Just like Francie, they're kind of dirty. Um, but yeah, they've got that tan skin, the same stiff arms. They have that Barbie body I don't really like. Um, so what I'm actually planning to do is rebody them to Francie bodies. Um, here is uh, Francie's body. So you can see it's just kind of differently shaped. Um, and it's just what most of my doll clothes that I have look like and uh, just what I prefer the look of. And and as you can see their heads are like the exact same size so the swab is gonna look totally natural pj's head's a little bigger maybe but i think it'll look totally good too so yeah let's look at them up close so here's pj with the stuffy face mold um she has these really cute pigtails again she is blonde just like malibu francie was um her hair plugs look pretty good i mean not uh not exactly 100 percent perfect but her hair looks great. I mean, the parts there, it's in the little pigtails. Um, so yeah, she actually looks so good. Her makeup's mostly intact. So her lipstick is a little chipped there, um, but that's okay. I can probably remedy that, even though that makes me nervous, but I think I could probably fix it or I could just leave her as is. It doesn't really matter. She's gorgeous. Okay, now let's look at Barbie. So Barbie and PJ, they actually have the same body, so there's no real difference there. Um, but we'll look at her face here. So uh, she has bright blue eyes, blue eyeshadow, and brown eyebrows. She has um, a face that's sort of like the Francie face and that she's got this open mouth. But you can see Barbie's like less exhilarated than Francie. She's a little more chill with her facial expressions, her eyes and her mouth. Um, the paint is coming off a little bit on her lips. You can see she has a bit of teeth there. Um, so yeah, she uh, looks great. I mean, her hair looks really good here, like nice and um, shiny, like it looks perfect. I mean, I honestly can't believe the condition, how good these dolls are considering how old these dolls are. These dolls are made um, in the first half of the 1970s. So it's really impressive how long they've stayed nice. Like look at this hair. It's better than some dolls I buy today. And I got such great deals on these girls. Okay, and here's that third package. It just came on a different day than the other ones. So let's get it open. So it's for one of the girls that I just got that you just saw me open. It is a body. Oh, this is wrapped really well. Like nice bubble wrap, lots of tape. Awesome. So this is a Malibu Francie Barbie. It's not in the best condition. I knew that going in. Um, so her uh, legs are pretty dirty. She has a hole in her ankle, you can see. We can glue that though. Um, and obviously I can clean her legs the best I can. Um, her arms are very dirty too. They're a completely um, like grimy looking color compared to her body. So we'll try and clean this body up. Um, but yeah, it uh, seems like otherwise than those concerns, it seems like it's an okay condition. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get that coloring off. If not, we'll, well, she'll just be wearing particular outfits. Anyway, her feet have a few little issues too on the bottom there. She's got some little bite marks there. No bites. I'm planning to start a series on my channel 
um, about on um, opening these things I get in the mail and then also talking about a little history. So kind of like mail time and history because I think it's really interesting to learn doll history and look at the old dolls um, and things like that and especially you know some of the discontinued dolls like the Bradzilla that I bought. Um, I just think it'd be really fun to talk about those and learn about the history. I would like to and I'm sure you would all like to. The original line was called Malibu Barbie, the sunset, almost like the jet set, which was clearly something, you know, everyone kind of understood. It's like a group of cool people, I guess is what I would say. So the sunset playing on also sunset with the Malibu Barbie. She's very California vibes. The main difference that separates them from regular Barbie is the suntan skin. So they all are tan. Most of them have blonde hair. So let's just look at some of the original dolls from the 1971 line and some of the dolls that I actually got today. So here you can see Malibu Barbie and also her friend PJ. I got both of those today in the mail. So this is the original packaging. You can see it's like cardboard with a little plastic bubble. So much simpler than um, some of the packaging we say. Like compare that to a rainbow high doll that's so complex. But I can say Barbie does manage to still have pretty simple packaging like this, which I appreciate. It really doesn't need all the plastic that a rainbow high doll has. Anyway, and you can see these could like hang on pegs at a store. I mean, to me, this looks like a budget doll. The first thing is she's wearing a bathing suit and they're simple bathing suits, like solid one color, nothing special there. She comes with, you know, this kind of junky little towel and some sunglasses. Unlike 60s Barbie, there are no rooted eyelashes. And uh, unlike 1959 Barbie uh, and many Barbies after that, these dolls don't come with shoes. Even the original beach Barbie, like the black and white bathing suit, you know, she had shoes. The next set of pictures I have here are um, other friends of Barbie, Malibu Skipper and Malibu Francie. Malibu Francie I got today and then Skipper I don't have, though I did order a Skipper from a later Malibu line. And next we have Malibu Ken and Malibu Christy. I would love to have Malibu Christy, but unfortunately she is really pricey. Like the cheapest, absolute cheapest that I could find one that wasn't even in good condition was about $80. Um, so yeah, that's a little out of my price range, um, but she is a gorgeous doll. She was the first Black Barbie, which is a really cool history too. Then we have Ken. Um, this is Ken entering his kind of creepy face mold phase, in my opinion. I love original 60s Ken, like the very early 60s. He's so wholesome. He's so cute. He's got that blocked hair. This Ken um, is entering the phase of creepy. And some of the later Kens, um, like Superstar Ken, Mod Ken, they just have the creepiest face. I mean, serial killer vibes, right? There were a couple um, Japanese special editions. Uh, I have pictures of a Francie and a Skipper here. The line was called Sun Sun rather than Sunset. Um, and if you notice, these girls are brunettes instead of blondes. So here are some original ads from the Sunset line. Now, I don't think these were all produced in 1971, but I read that the line went until 1976. So these, some of these might be later items. So I am going to list some prices on the screen. I used an inflation calculator. I'll put the link in the description to kind of calculate what these might cost in today's money, United States dollars, because that's the currency I use. So a couple examples here, um, just a classic Malibu, Barbie, PJ, Skipper, Francie. They were $1.99 each in this ad, and that is roughly $15 today. So that's pretty accurate. I mean, that's like a Monster High doll on sale, but they do look like a budget doll. So honestly, that's about a budget doll price, I would say. Maybe a little lower than what you see these days. You can see there's a Ken gift set there that comes with a bunch of clothes and the Ken doll. That was $4.99, so that's roughly about $38 in today's currency. And then the most expensive item in any of these ads is going to be this country living home at $8.87 in, you know, roughly sometime in the mid-1970s. And that would approximately be about $67 today. Very interesting. That is a pricey item for what it is. Um, but, you know, I feel like a Barbie play set would probably be about that these days. I mean, I know they can go to $100 for big ones, but for something this size, it does seem accurate to me. 
And then the image on the right here, um, you can see that the Barbie was on sale for $1.97 each. Oh my God, two cents less than the $1.99. Here's another ad of the time, only $1.94. So that's the best deal we've seen yet per doll. And then look, there's a deal for $4.93. You can get the doll and her fashion wardrobe. Oh my gosh. $4.93 was roughly about $37 in today's currency. So, I mean, that's cheaper than Ainsley Slater, right? And this other ad is just fun showing the dolls. It doesn't have any prices, but it does have like a funny little description. You can pause the video and read if you like to. I'm also um, going to post these on my Tumblr if you want a better look. So the reason I think these dolls are so affordable is they were very popular. So many were produced and also they were produced for many years. So there's just tons of chances to get them. And with the reboot line, there's a lot of other options too. So let's see some of the prices that I paid today for these dolls. And obviously these dolls are used and dirty. So they're in a very con different condition than they were in the 70s. But, you know, considering they're probably 50 years old, I think that's pretty good. So I paid $12.24 for my Malibu Francie in today's money. And if we stick with that calculation of her being about $1.99 at the time, that's roughly $14.94. So honestly, I got her for cheaper than her original price in a way, but obviously she's not in her perfect condition. So, you know, but honestly, that's this is why I wanted this line because they're just, um, you know, pretty low cost. And this next one, the Malibu Barbie and PJ, they equal out with the shipping to be $22.99. We'll divide that by two and they are about $11.50. So, you know, similar to like what they would have been at the time. And finally, what I paid for the Francie body. Honestly, um, she's so dirty. I kind of feel like I overpaid. And with that ripped leg, I hope when I try to clean her, she cleans better. But so um, I gave this person an offer of $5. So altogether, I paid $10.65 for this body. Um, that gives you another idea of the comparison of the price. So $5 off when it doesn't come with a head. But anyway, it's pretty dirty. I hope it cleans up well. If not, I can get a new one. Clearly, they aren't that much money. In 1980, they released Malibu Barbie Beach Party, which is uh, like a Barbie that comes with a case and some extras, and she has a different face mold. So let's talk about some of the reboots. So the next line in the Malibu Barbie series is called Sun Lovin', and this was from 1979. The biggest difference is these dolls have tan lines, which I love. Um, it's so cute. I've never seen a doll with tan lines. I just love it. But anyway, you can see most of the same cast of characters, except they did drop Francie. They have different clothing, and then they all come with a little bag and sunglasses. Um, still no shoes, so that's a bummer. There are no prices on this ad, unfortunately. And here you can see the Sun Love and Malibu Skipper doll. I actually bought this doll, so she'll be my Skipper doll in my new vintage Malibu collection. So I paid $10.99 on Mercari for her. And, you know, like we said, roughly about like 15 bucks in 1971 or so. So, yeah, she will have to be rerouted. But I wanted a fun project to do with a reroute with like a Malibu Barbie. I'm thinking like a light pink hair. Like I see someone posting some Mercari pictures of. Very inspired. You can see some of her tan has chipped. But I'm not really concerned about that. Big deal. You know, she's an older Barbie. She's not going to be perfect. She has not come in the mail yet. But I will certainly do a little video when she does. And the next reboot that we have here was called Sensational. This was from 1981. And then we still got PJ, Skipper, Ken, Christy, and we did add a black Ken. He has a root, rooted curly hair, which is so cool. I love to see it. I think uh, male dolls with rooted hair are so fun. So much better than Ken's molded hair. And in 1983, we rebooted Malibu Barbie again to called Sun Gold. And they did add um, some Hispanic dolls here. We have a Barbie and Ken with a different skin tone. And you can see they revived the clothing here too. And um, some of the face molds have changed. There are a couple um, reproduction lines that Mattel has done. Um, so they did just a Malibu Barbie in 2001 for the 30th anniversary of Malibu Barbie. And then in 2009, they did a reproduction of Malibu Barbie with some extra clothing. And that was to celebrate the original Barbie's 50th anniversary. 
And lastly, we have a repro version of Malibu Barbie. So the repro was released in 2021. You get a three pack of Christy Barbie and PJ. This costs $80 through Mattel Creations. It was limited edition. It does sell for more today. Um, these are really cute. I believe they use the vintage faces really well. And did a good job re recreating the original look with the bathing suits and the towels and everything. I would love to own this. I probably never will because it's really expensive, but they are pretty awesome. So I will have more content coming um, about vintage Barbies, particularly these Malibu dolls. I'm going to have a how to clean video. And I do have um, some more coming in the mail so I'll have a kind of a part two uh to this mail and history video I hope you enjoyed it let me know if there's something you want to see thank you so much for watching bye